Welcome back dear students. I am Twinkle Sony and in this video we are going to talk about the topic of grammar that is sentences. As you know children the name of your book is Fun with Grammar by Cordova Publication and the topic is sentence. This is the first topic of your grammar book. Now, directly comes to the definition of the sentence. Sentence is the group of the words which we speak. Okay. But a group of the words that makes a complete sense is called sentence. So, a sentence is a group of the words that make complete sense. Means whatever you are saying, it should, ha it should have sense or it the person who is listening or reading the sentence should get the basic idea of those words that is known as sentence. Now there are few things which you need to remember while considering a group of words as sentence. First, the first word of sentence always begins with a capital letter. So, the first word always begins with a capital letter and at the end we are putting full stop. Second point, the words in a sentence must be in their proper order. So, the words, there should be proper arrangement of the words in the sentence. Okay. Third, a sentence ends with a full stop a mark of integration or a mark of exclamation okay so a sentence should always end with full stop or a mark of interrogation or a mark of exclamation so these are the three conditions which considered a sentence a group of the word as a sentence. Now, let us talk about parts of sentence. So, there are two parts of a sentence. First is subject and second is predicate. Now, let us know what is subject and what is predicate. Children, you have already studied about subject and predicate. In fact, the topic which I am teaching, the sentence, you are, are very much aware about this. So, it this is the video will be just for recalling of, of your previous knowledge. Okay. Now, subject. Subject. The first part of the sentence that names the person or thing which are speaking about. Basically, a subject is the main topic of the sentence on which the whole sentence is being based. For example, Ram is eating mangoes. So, what Ram is doing? About whom we are talking? That is Ram. So, Ram is the subject. Okay, now let us talk about the second part of the sentence that is known as predicate. Predicate, the second part of the sentence that says something about the subject. Basically, the other than the topic of the sentence is considered as predicate or you can say in simple words, the activity which is performed by the subject is considered as predicate. For example, the moon shines bright from behind the clouds. So, in this talk, in this sentence, the main topic of the sentence is the moon. And what is the activity of the moon? Shines bright from behind the cloud. Okay. So, these come that comes in the category of predicate. Now, let us come to the second example. They have bought the books. So, who has brought the books? They. 
so there is the subject and have brought the book is the predicate now here are the full uh, few examples which make you more clear about subject and predicate first one television is a wonderful invention of science okay so this sentence is full okay did your team with win the match so <clears throat> this sentence is full and the subject over here is team open your book for reading the lesson so we are talking about what book so book is the subject above your above your head it is the example of phrase which we are going to discuss in this video after completion of the topic sentence okay through the town this is also example of the phrase now it is a quick exercise for you all you can pause the video to note down or to do that we uh So here is the exercise in which you have to underline the subject and predicate in the following sentence okay so children you can pause the video and you can do this exercise okay so the first one is the teacher wrote some words on the board so you need to mention the subject as well as the predicate i hope you can easily solve this exercise now let us come to the type of the sentence basically there are four kinds of sentence first is declarative sentence second is interrogative sentence third imperative sentence and the last one is exclamatory sentence now in the next slide i am going to explain the meaning as well as i am going to give the definition of all the sentences too first let us talk about declarative sentences now the another name of declarative sentence is also assertive sentence okay so don't get confused between declarative or assertive sentence a declarative or assertive sentence is a stem or a piece of information that always ends with a full stop okay the sentence basically which is giving information is known as declarative or assertive sentence okay and it always ends with full stop now let us see the example it will be a very cold winter this year so this sentence is giving a information that is that this year the cold will be very much and it is ending by full stop so this comes in the category of declarative sentence second your class students are very intelligent so this sentence is also giving information about the students that they are very intelligent so and it is also ending with full stop so it comes in the category of declarative sentence now as in declarative or assertive sentence both of the sentence both not not both means it is one only have positive as well as negative sentence okay it can be classified as affirmative affirmative or positive both means the same and negative sentence okay so let us see the example also anyone can enter the prayer hall so it is not saying any negative point so it comes in the category of positive sentence second do not talk loudly while 
inside the prayer hall so whenever in a sentence do not is not is coming or any negative word is coming that comes in the category of negative sentence do not does not did not like this okay now let us cover the second category of the sentence that is interrogative sentence an interrogative sentence ask for information that a declarative sentence give okay so interrogative sentence is generally having the nature of asking something okay when in a sentence when we are asking something that comes in the category of interrogative sentence okay now let us read the second point it always ends with a question mark declarative sentence was ending with a full stop and this sentence that is interrogative sentence is ending with a mark of question that is question mark an interrogative sentence is also known as a question clear the auxiliary verb verb that is helping verb is placed before the subject in an interrogative sentence this this point will be clear with the help of example okay first example do you prefer to read or watch a movie so as this sentence is asking something and it is ending with a question mark so it comes in the category of interrogative sentence now next are you going to make a post so this sentence is also asking something and it is ending with question mark so it comes in the category of interrogative sentence and the last one have you taken the medicine so this question is also asking something and it comes in the category of interrogative sentence now let us see some more examples of <clears throat> interrogative sentence first what will you do when you grow up generally sentences are having two types interrogative sentence are having two types some are starting from wh questions question words which wh question words are basically what were when whom whose like this and some are just having the answer in yes or no okay so for example what will you do when you grow up so this sentence is starting from wh word wh word means wh question words okay that is what then now let us see the next example are you going to become an engineer when grown sorry when grow up so this sentence the answer can be yes or no so this is also a kind of sentence of interrogative one where are you going are you going market who is the culprit is rohan culprit okay so these are the few examples which comes in the category of interrogative sentence now children let us talk about imperative sentences an imperative sentence express a command an order a direction an instruction or a request okay so basically a sentence that is expressing 
command request advice direction or instruction that falls in the category of imperative sentence most of these and with a full stop however some others may and with an exclamation mark too like unlike declarative sentence in declarative sentence it is always ending with a full stop but in imperative sentence it can end with a full stop or a mark of exclamation also okay and imperative sentence are those sentence which are giving information which are not giving information that tell us about some order command or direction or instruction or it is simply requesting something okay now let us quickly see the example of imperative sentence written by 8 pm so it is a command so that falls in the category of imperative sentence written by 8 pm or else you will be grounded for a week now it is a order so it falls in the category of imperative sentence breathe deeply and hold your breath as much as you can it falls in the category of instruction so it belongs to imperative sentence the shop you are looking for the tenth on the left hand side so it is giving a direction so it comes in the category of imperative sentence please shut the door it comes and in this sentence we are requesting something so it comes in the category of imperative sentence previously we have covered the three sentence declarative interrogative and imperative sentence now let us talk about the next category of the sentence that is known as exclamatory sentences okay and exclamatory sentences expresses a strong feeling and always end with an exclamation mark so this kind of sentences are always ending with a exclamation mark okay so the example of exclamatory sentences are hurray i have found the solution to this problem now this sentence is expresses the feeling strong feeling of a person that a person is happy generally in the sentence in which the emotions are strongly defined the emotion of happiness the emotion of sadness is strongly defined by the words and it is having a exclamation mark these kind of sentences we are considering as exclamatory sentences okay second congratulation nitin blessing to you now over here we are congratulating something we are congratulating nitin so it comes in the category of exclamatory sentences how beautiful the butterfly is okay now this sentence is expressing the feeling of excitement and it is ending with exclamatory marks so this comes in the category of exclamatory sentence now as i have told you previously in the video that we are going to talk about the topic phrase okay so phrase are basically a group of the words which is not having complete sense okay means there is a word group of the words but we can't judge the meaning of that group of words that comes in the category of phrase okay so sometimes a group of the words make sense or but or but not the complete sense such group of words is called phrase okay 
now let us see the example the whole night now over here there is a group of the words the arrangement of the word is also almost proper but we are not getting the exact meaning so it comes in the category of phrase in the park what in the park who is the park nothing has been mentioned so it comes in the category of phrase third the up the hill so up the hill also we are not getting any meaning or it is not making any sense so it comes in the category of phrase now let us come to the clauses okay so a clauses is a group of the sentence which is having subject and sorry not a group of the sentence i'm sorry a group of the words that is having subject as well as the predicate okay a clause is a group of the words which with a subject and a verb and is the part of sentence okay so a clause is basically it is having a verb in it and as well as the subject and it may or may not make a complete sense now over here it may it may make a complete sense or may it may not make a complete sense so two things you need to keep in mind while considering clause in a sentence that it should have a subject and it should have a verb too okay and predicate also so for example a boy is going to the market a boy sorry the boy is going to the market the boy is going it comes in the category of clause okay and over here the subject is the boy and predicate is going now children over here is the homework for you say whether the following sentences are assertive interrogative imperative or exclamatory so you need to tell you need to identify the sentences whether they belong to the particular category which is mentioned over here i have given the example also and i have told you about the conditions also so this homework you need to do by yourself in your rough copy okay now this is the end part of the whole video in which i am going to provide you some some uh, provide you about the summary of the whole topic that is sentence so basically so the sentences is a group of the words which is having some sense or complete sense okay which is have a group of the words that is having sense is known as the sentence the, there are few conditions to consider a group of the words as sentence it should end with the capital letter it should, sorry it should start with the capital letter it should and with the full stop question mark or exclamatory mark it should have subject and predicate then uh, uh, the ar the arrangement of the words should be proper okay subject and predicates are the part of the sentence then there are four categories of the sentences first is declarative second is assertive third is interrogative fourth is imperative and fifth okay then uh, declarative sentences give us a uh, provides information interrogative sentences seeks information then imperative sentences give command request instruction direction or make request and exclamatory sentences express a strong feeling and uh, now it is the end of the video i hope it is helpful to you okay and other necessary details i am going to discuss with you in the online class thank you have a good day